what's up guys today i'll be talking about everything you need to know about ivf everything ivf is in vitro fertilization is the process of taking mature eggs from the ovaries of a woman taking the sperm of a man allowing fertilization to occur outside of the body then transferring the embryos back into the womb of the woman it sounds so easy it's that simple but if you want to know more about IVF if you want to know like everything about IVF keep watching this video and if you're new to this channel please subscribe to my channel like this video and if you have any comments any questions drop them below I am Dr. Amarachi Ijama I'm a fertility physician So we're going to start from, I am going to start from talking about when should you go for IVF? When is the right time to go for IVF? So before you, you attempt IVF, you must have been seeing your gynecologist, you must have been seeing your family physician. A couple of investigations would have been, would have been done. And this includes investigations to know whether you have tubal factors, that's when there's problem with the fallopian tubes, for whatever may cause the problem. When there's problem with the fallopian tubes, when there is ovulation disorders, when there is fibroid, not all fibroids by the way, it depends on the location of the fibroid and the size of the fibroid and whether you have symptoms too. I'll talk about this in more details in another video. It could also be as a result of sperm problem, like if there is impaired sperm production, there's problem with the production of sperm or other parameters. This will also be talked about in full details in another video. But for now, we are focusing on the reasons you will need to do IVF. The last reason is unexplained infertility. In, unexpl in unexplained infertility, the man and the woman must have undergone series of investigations. No reason for the infertility could be found. So in, it is usually termed in unexplained infertility. So these are the reasons, these are the indications for IVF in a couple trying to conceive. Earlier at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that in IVF, you're taking mature eggs from the ovaries of the woman and then taking sperm from the man. Now, this mature eggs is usually gotten by injectable medications. So we are giving some injectable drugs to the woman over a period of time so that she can produce mature eggs. Then once the eggs are mature enough to be collected, an appointment is scheduled for her to be done in the theater. On, on that sedation because it's it's a painful procedure so we don't want you to feel any pain the procedure usually takes about 30 minutes and after that you rest in the clinic for about two hours and you can go home it's a day case procedure now these eggs collected we're giving immediately to the scientists or the embryologist the scientist then collects these eggs these eggs and the sperm now, the sperm will be produced by the man via masturbation. Once the sperm is produced, the sperm is put in a dish alongside the eggs. Before the sperm is put in the dish, it's usually being washed. So it's washed so that we can get the best sperm possible for the procedure. Then the best sperm cells gotten after washing is put in the same dish with the eggs and put in the incubator so that there can be a natural selection. Now, the sperm will naturally select the eggs in the incubator. Overnight, the next day, the embryo embryologists or the scientist checks to see if fertilization has occurred. Once fertilization has occurred, the um, embryo is put back in the incubator. Now remember that the incubator is a machine that, is, that actually mimics the environment of the female womb. Now, once this um, embryo is put back in the incubator, the doctor can decide whether to do transfer back into the womb, transfer into the womb, either on day two, 
D3, D4, or D5. So this depends on the doctor doing the IVF. When there's a problem with the sperm, maybe problem with the motility, the shape, maybe reduction in sperm count, whatever problem there is with the sperm, it's usually best to do a procedure called ICSI. ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In this case, the scientist takes individual sperm cells, then inserts the sperm cell with the head of the sperm into the outer layer of the egg so that fertilization can occur because in a natural case in a natural case where the sperm is doing it on its own it's actually the head of the sperm that enters passes through the outer layer of the egg which is the cytoplasm for fertilization to occur so in ICSI is it's just that it's the scientist doing it and doing it individually this increases the chances of fertilization in poor sperm. The duration of IVF varies with individuals, but on an average, it is 28 days. The period where you stimulate the woman to produce eggs usually is about 10 to 14 days. Then egg collection is one day and then transfer, embryo transfer, is between two to five days. Then pregnancy test is usually 10 to 14 days after transfer, be it day two, day three, day four, or day five transfer. Embryo pregnancy test is usually 14 days after. So this is just an average of 28 days. Globally, the success rate of IVF is between 35 to 40 percent, sometimes 50 percent. However, this differs with different with different facilities. Some facilities record 50 percent, 60 percent, but it also even differs with the years. Like in 2020, they might record 50 percent. 2021, it might be 60 percent or 40 percent or even 35 percent sometimes 20% depending on the facility. However, if you want to know the success rate of, um, of a facility for their IVF procedure, all you need to do is ask. Just when you go for consultation, you ask them, they will always tell you. But globally, globally, success rate of IVF is 35 to 40%, sometimes 50%. IVF is expensive, but it also differs bit, with different facilities. For some facilities, it's a lot more affordable than other facilities. But on an average, and this is by my research, Nigerian standard, by my research, it's an average of 700,000 to 2.5 million. This also depends on the type of IVF you are going to do. There are different types of IVF. There's the one where you use your sperm and your your egg, own sperm, own egg, donor sperm, donor egg, or own sperm, donor egg, and vice versa. So I will talk I will talk fully on the different types of IVF in another video. But this the, the cost I have given so far is the average cost of these different IVF in Nigeria. However, don't let the price make you um, run away. Don't, don't, don't let the price scare you. Sometimes, a lot of times, oftentimes, different clinics actually do promo. So in this promo, they can actually really slash the price to about maybe 75% of the original price. IVF is the best assisted reproductive technology out there. It's, I mean, even though it's not a hundred percent successful, it has helped a lot of couples achieve pregnancy. It has helped a lot of couples conceive. It has helped a lot of couples have children. It is worth the try. So if you're trying to um, 
have a child, if you've been trying with your partner to conceive for so long, you can actually try IVF. If you found this video helpful, if you found this video informative, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. See you next week.